Legend has it that at the tender age of 10, little Rose, filled with curiosity and dreams, sneaked out of her parents' house to visit a fortune teller in town. Gazing into the lines of her palm, the fortune teller declared, an unhappy marriage awaits you. Then she continued, a widowhood. The words hung heavy in the air, but an unexpected turn came. And a crown, she said, her voice carrying a sense of grandeur. More than a queen, but only for a short time. As Rose grew up, she married, gave birth to two children, and, unhappily, decided to separate from her husband. A few years later, during the French Revolution, he was executed, leaving her a widow. She herself narrowly escaped the guillotine. Having survived the turmoil of her times, she later met and married the young general Napoleon Bonaparte. He chose to call her as Josephine, the name she adopted from then on. Historians debate whether their union was a matter of convenience for both. She needed the financial support of a man, while he sought a sophisticated woman like her by his side. Regardless of their motives, their union made her more than a queen, as predicted. During the coronation ceremony in 1804, Napoleon first crowned himself, and then placed the crown upon Josephine's head, proclaiming her Empress of France. In the following years, it became evident that Josephine could not conceive another child. In the interest of securing his succession, Napoleon annulled their marriage and remarried in hopes of having an heir. Despite their divorce, he allowed her to maintain the regal title of Empress until she fell into destitution after the collapse of the empire in 1814. Once again, she became more than a queen, but only for a short period of time, as foretold. Josephine passed away shortly after, and history notes her last words were for him, Bonaparte, Elba, the King of Rome. Upon receiving news of her death while in exile on Elba, Napoleon secluded himself in his room for two days. Theirs was a love story that transcended the annals of history, with the passionate letters he wrote for her remaining a legacy of the profound love he professed. In his letters, he wrote, Goodbye, goodbye. I shall go to bed without you. Sleep without you. Let me sleep, I beg you. For several nights, I have felt you in my arms. A happy dream, but it is not you. The day when you say, I love you less, will mark the end of my love and the last day of my life. His last words were for her. La France, l'armée, tête d'armée, Joséphine. France, the army. Head of the army, Joséphine.